That worked. She understood. Thank you. Uh. I'm afraid that's gonna be a bit tough for us to say. Burble? Can we call you Burble? All right. Burble it is. Hey, Burble. Are you sticking around? We might want to go back to where we came from. Okay. You know how you said you can suck on seeds to satiate hunger? Yes. Well, it doesn't work. Who's a good oink? Who's daddy's oink? Who's that? Oh, you are! Yes, you are. Done. It's all straightened out. Everything's tidy and clean. Besides us, that is. <laughs> yeah, we are kind of stinky. Off to the shower then? Ah, Blute. What is it? I just mobbed the bathroom. Oh. Do you think we can marinate another 10 to 15 minutes in our own filth? <laughs> Honestly, can do. Sorry! What are you doing outside this late? A cutting of Catalyst Barada. That way, we won't have to walk to reach remote islands. Couldn't that wait till tomorrow? Cuttings take better at night, thanks to the influence of the moon. You know, the moon will still be there tomorrow morning. Just because we don't see it doesn't mean it's gone. You're right. Okay, I might be a bit tired. Come on. Let's go to sleep. Where are we right now? Hmm, there about. That's the best I can guess without Astrolock. Do you really think that reactivating it could be dangerous? Let's just say I'd prefer not to risk it. How about we pack a little dish for Burble? You never know, we might have to call on her. And maybe pack a little something for ourselves.
You never told me. What did your mate look like? Eh, I don't know. Didn't you get her file from the matchmaker? Yeah, I did. But I never really looked at it. Seriously? You're not even curious? Well, no. <laughs> I already knew you. <laughs> Whatever. Come on. We'll look at it together. If you wish. Huh. Oh, all right. Any other pictures? Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Huh. She's kind of cute. You think so? Yeah, definitely. Don't you? I don't know. Too much makeup, I think. I like a more natural look. Like yours. Mm-hmm. Do you really think I'm not wearing any kind of makeup right now? Um... <laughs> Come on. Let's check her profile instead of this foolishness. Let's see. Interests. Reading, music, having a drink with my friends. Whoa. Do you think you can handle such a strong personality? <laughs> That's harsh. Job. Ocean Biology Research Assistant at the University of Ox. Huh. Okay. Looks like you two are made for each other. No one is made for each other. That's the kind of rhetoric the matchmaker uses. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But it still looks to me like that was a bleeding good pick. You'd make a great couple. Might have made. There's a difference. Uh, tell me. Are you really wearing makeup right now? <laughs> we spend every waking minute together in the nest. If I discreetly slipped into the bathroom every morning to put on some eyeliner, don't you think you'd notice? <laughs> yeah, at least I think. But you're not really answering my question though. I know. Okay, we need to talk. Should I be worried? Yes. No. Maybe. Promise me you won't be mad. I can't promise anything without knowing what this is about. <sighs> it's about your skidding skills. Oh. <laughs> Let's just say that you could use some extra training. <laughs> okay, show me. You're not mad? Why would I be mad? I love to learn new things. All right, let's hop on a few threads to practice. Now! You did Let's it! Let's do another one! Skid! Now you're getting it. Let's see if you can keep it going. Now! Now you have a handle on this. Perfect. I have to say, I have an excellent teacher. Well, you passed the test. Let's get back to business. That's funny. At first I found the shrooms disgusting, but now I actually think he carries them well.
so? Oh, it actually worked. <laughs> like I told you, you can trust the moon to do its job. That and cutting enhancing hormones. Now we just need to see if it works. Burble. <laughs> I knew she could never resist my cooking. All right, shall we go for a ride? Only if Burble agrees. I think that Burble will agree to anything if we save a plate for her. Thank you, Burble. Two in a row? No, just the one. Huh. I'm still way ahead then. Are you sure you know where we're going? I think so. Be. Looks a whole lot cleaner. Let's share those. This is where we came from. All right. That's how we got here. Are you sure we didn't come this way? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, what about the nest? Do you know which way that is? I think somewhere in that direction. But I can't really tell with this mist. At least from here we can see the whole flow bridge. Yeah. Hard to tell when you're inside of it, but that thing is massive. And from here you'd never know this is just millions of flow threads woven together. Just millions of flow threads? 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm wondering what the universe would look like without the flow arcs. For one thing, we wouldn't be here to talk about it. How do you mean? The flow bridges are linking together two points in space, correct? Carry on. Anytime matter goes in the vicinity of these bridges, it's transported from one end to the other. Matter gathers at either end of the bridge, and that's what ends up creating these planets. Without flow bridges, no planets. Without planets, no life would happen. Without life happening? No us. Where does the flow come from, though? I thought it was supposed to be generated inside planetary cores. Yes. The pressure that's being exerted by matter allows flow to stabilize in the shape of threads. So? Don't you see the issue? If the flow bridges allow for the creation of planets, and the planets allow for the creation of flow bridges, which one came first? The flow bridges or the planets? Uh, I guess a planet had to be there before... Unless the flow could... No. Then maybe the stars would... Or maybe science cannot explain everything. And there are mysteries which are just bigger than you. <sighs> Okay, I give up. K0, Universe 1. We didn't do all this for nothing. No way. Watch your six. We're too quick for them. Want to trade places? As you wish. Bloot! He's preparing something. One of us should charge up our shield. Come on! Why isn't he feeling it? Watch out! Hey! Come on! Keep going! All set! Now! It's worth a try. Uh, are you blocking or am I? Because if neither of us does, this'll hurt. <laughs> oh. You! Ready when you are. All set. Oh, come on! Shield! Shield! Okay. Perfect. We're out of sync. We need to work on our timing. I'll cover, you attack. Dig it. Watch out. Looks like he's about to attack. Oh, come on. That looks bad. Hey, come on. Keep going. Make way. Hold on. Remind me who's covering and who's attacking. I have a bad feeling about this. Get back! Are you all right? Perfect! Take that! We're out of sync. We need to work on our timing. I'll cover, you attack. Dig it! Keep going. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. 
Chill. He's ready. Pacifying time. Right for the picking. Harvest time. Good teamwork. As usual. We make a good team. Hey, 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 we're getting good at this. Definitely. They're there. Better? Yes. Thank you. Huh. Seems like they weren't worried about thieves. Why do you say that? The door. It has an auto-open device. You know, like, it opens when you get near it. Doesn't look like it's opening. Of course. The system probably ran out of flow a long time ago. If that's all there is, it shouldn't be an issue. Move over. <laughs> How did you do that? I figured out a trick. Remember when I upgraded the gloves with the Draca's mapping chip? Actually, it turned out that I shorted the redundancy in the safety system. Anyway, if I try to flush the flow, it does this. You can try it. I'm sure it'll work on yours, too. Uh... Wow! All right. Why not check inside? Wow. Just look at these machines. This isn't a workshop at all. It's a museum. Or just a very old workshop. True. Uh, I was hoping we could pilfer some parts to fix up the nest, but that just went right out the window. All these machines are at least a thousand years old. I'd say more like 50. Same thing. None of this will be compatible. Hmm. Not sure about the nest, but I should be able to make this extender nozzle work. Loot! How old are you exactly? <laughs> Very funny. It's just that my engineering school was a bit slow to update its tech. I'll admit, I never thought I'd get to use that knowledge. We'll take the extender nozzle then? Might as well be useful to someone. With a flow burst. You can't catch us that easily. Three, two, one. Go, go, go! Your turn. I got this. You no way. You. Great job. You're welcome. One left. I got this. Loot. Careful. Dodge this one! Aha! Eat it! Bam! Booyah! Uh. Thanks! Target left! Eat it! This one's mine! You? I'll keep them at bay! One down! Maybe we should stop pestering him. Come on, it's just a bit of fun. Flow burst, flow burst. All good. We're out of reach. Beep beep. Pick up the pace. I'm doing what I can. I'm fighting with front facing winds over here. Come <laughs> 
Now! <laughs> that was the wrong way. Ugh, my batteries are empty. Mine too. We need to find a full thread. One to go. Are you? Yep. Saw that. Great job. You're welcome. The end. Finally. Rust clears out. Can you keep up back there? Are you kidding? I have to go in slow motion.
perfect landing. As always. think that it isn't ripe yet hmm this isn't gonna go very far without rust All right, this works. Awesome. Could you build a gyro stabilizer for the nest? Uh, I can only make kind of simple things, like flow capsules. Hold on, let me show you. Just take a bit of rust and... And here it is, a brand new capsule. Just need to activate it during combat in order to use it. Oh, so no gyro stabilizer then? Uh, sorry. No, no need to be sorry. No worries. This is good. I mean, this is great. Really great. Uh, if you could just explain to me what the flow capsules do when you get a chance. Because I miss that part. So, what's this rocky chunk got to say? Well, for starters, it says it's not a rock. Really? What is it then? Some kind of metal? No, it's not mineral or organic. So, what is it? <laughs> Going straight to the hard questions. But that is not how science works. How does it work then? First of all, you formulate a hypothesis. Then you build an experiment to test this hypothesis. You observe, and you learn. Okay, then what have you learned? That I'm lacking imagination regarding hypotheses? One thing we know for sure is that rust particles scatter immediately when in contact with flow. I'd like to observe this reaction more closely. You can do that next time. Right now, you should go to bed. Already? What time is it? No idea, but I know I'm sleepy. And I want my snuggles before I crash. <laughs> gotcha. The apple brew is ready! So what are we waiting for? That's a whole lot better than Kinovision, isn't it? You're right, but I still find it a little uneventful. That's harsh. When the sun just disappeared beyond the horizon, that was quite a twist. <laughs> Do you think the sun will rise tomorrow? Or is the world going to descend in darkness? A real cliffhanger. Mm, pass me the bottle and set it talking Blute. I think it's empty. Ugh, oh, Blute. Hmm. I still can't believe we made it. 
Well, it wasn't a big bottle or anything. I meant we made it here, on Source. <laughs> yeah, the odds weren't in our favor. Hmm. You mean you would have bet against yourself? Considering the general condition of the ship, the meshing of the patrols, and the distance we had to go? Definitely. So, why did you agree to follow me here? Because you asked me to. What? Did I say something wrong? No, no. Hmm. Is your chair comfortable? Why? Mine is a bit big, just for myself. Come sit. Hmm. Do you regret it? What? Following me? Why would I regret that? Just look at this sky. Look at us. What is there to regret? I don't know. The people? Don't you miss that? Seeing people? Sometimes. No one in particular. But what I'm missing are the conversations. More so than the people. The kind I can't have with you. Such as? Sorry, this may sound baronic, but work conversations, for example. The exchange of ideas between researchers on topics that maybe 50 of us understand in the entire apiary. Conversations about you, too. About me? Oh, well, yeah. Who am I supposed to make jealous by bragging about how great you are when it's just me and you? You can always tell me. I won't get offended. No, I can't. I'm too afraid that you will realize I don't deserve you. Do you really think that? Should I? Of course not. Are you crazy? You're the best person I know. I'm the one who doesn't deserve you. You're also the best person I know. You know what? I think the world doesn't deserve us. <laughs>